Mike, I'll let you pick the next video. So I'll keep the I need a PS5 and any evidence gas pressure without a container. And we'll throw into the mix the heliocentric model is satanic. Um, <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Why does he get the extra choices now? Because you, you, <laughs> you've already picked one. Oh, I picked that. I picked number five. That was that one. <laughs> and your other one can be whatever I said before, which I can't remember, so we'll call it Pilots <laughs> Admit to Flat Earth. Oh, God. Uh, I want to see why what Satan's got to do with this. So that's the Helio. What Satan, Satan got to do? Got to do with that. <laughs> So, colon, video number seven, please. The heliocentric model is satanic. I can't wait for all the sixes. Fucking hell. <laughs> They're going to be everywhere. The number of the roast. Ah, jeez, the beast, the beast. That's it, right. This is... Not even the okay, right then. So, um, yeah, you asked for it. Boy, Trade the Yard, back with another video. Let's get, let's get into it. Shout out to notification gang, man. As soon as I upload this shit, y'all watch it. If y'all new, y'all like the content, hit that thumbs up. If y'all don't, thumbs down. It makes me no difference. But for those of y'all who uh, rock with me, I appreciate the support. Appreciate it. But um, yeah, man. Titus, uh, heliocentric model, the satanic, cult, religious model world y'all y'all living in. But um, we here though, man. We here. The fuck? <laughs> okay, DKG, your um, hand. Oh God! Why? Oh why? Oh why are all these flat Earth scientists like <laughs> the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet? I couldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't trust this Answer. guy. I wouldn't trust this guy to tie my Velcro shoes. <laughs> he has learned guy. flat Earth rule number one, and that's record videos in your car. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can't do it at highway speed. <laughs> and, and, but you know what? The, the fucking thing with this dumbass is he's not even very good at that. <laughs> oh, no. No, he's not at all. That's why you can and barely is, hear is, is no one going to talk about the fact that he's fucking smoking a menthol? Oh, God, I didn't even notice that. Oh! There's a green band around the fucking cigarette. Should we let him get into it, see if he's what stupid he's actually going to say? Yeah. I can oh. only imagine. Get, let's it. get into it. Shout out to the notification gang, man. Well, as soon as I upload this shit, y'all watch it. If y'all new, y'all like the content, hit that thumbs up. Anyway, man, I'm waiting for computer to see gonna pop in here or not before I get started. Earth was was a globe, just like y'all. Everybody. Don't no, don't nobody grows up believing the earth is, is flat. It don't happen that way. The thing is, everybody <laughs> I just have to point out that it's really fucking funny that we can start him mid-sentence and I know exactly what he was saying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I grew yes, up just is. like all of y'all believing that the earth was a globe. I was indoctrinated too. Yeah, that's uh, flat earth, flat earther <clears throat> rule number two. Talk about how I used to be a globe earther. Yeah, he's, he's doing, he's going through the story, isn't he? That's right. Come All on. right, let's uh, let's move on. Crack on, see what else he's got to fucking shit out of his mouth. Everything above us is moving. Everything in the sky is moving above us. The sun, the moon, the stars, everything is fixed. It's just moving around us. I know y'all see my thumbnail. Because the this is amazing. He stopped in the perfect time when saying everything above us moving and things like that. Yeah, and there's also two points of rotation. How's that work yes. on the flat Earth? Because oh, not only that, but like they're moving inconsistently. The moon doesn't move with the stars. Mars doesn't move with the rest of the stars. Like fucking Mars moves backwards for a certain point of the year. You can't just say it's all moving around us. It's all moving in seemingly random ass directions. It's almost like we're moving too.
we, we've documented it. the North Star does actually move, and it is documented. You look through older star chart, older star charts, and you can see that it's not the exact same position it is now. But apparently, according well, to if you go back far enough, the North Star was a different star. It was Thuban, mm -hmm. and it will be a different star in the future too. Any more points? Bit more play? Bit more. I'm, I, I think call on debate me. A lot of these globe globe tars, they subscribe to my channel. I talk to you. I talk to you. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. I, I would rather that. I would rather bait, debate right to hand than spend any time with him. We looked at Tradeo's channel before, and he's got 212 videos, for God's sake. Oh my and God. he doesn't show his subscriber count. Oh. Does he show his um, video count? Uh, view count. Can you hide? Less than 100. Nice. Most of them are probably me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Video number one, please, Colon. Anatomy of a globe brain. So this should be... Uh, Stupid. This, this, feels, this feels appropriate because my avatar is meant to be a troll that is like literally a globe head. <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay. Um, for the sake lost. of everybody in the chat and in the room, um, step back away from your monitors. Face palm protection is in effect. Oh, God. No, honestly, move far away from your monitors. Do we, do we need to... All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about the anatomy of the globe head brain, okay? Because trust me, I'm a globe head and all of us are super smart because we went to school, right? We learned everything that we were taught from our master, I mean our teachers. So that makes us smart. So I'm going to give you the breakdown of the globe head anatomy right here. So... In the normal flat earth brain, you got the frontal lobe here. Yeah, good old Nathan. Re really quickly, does Natalie think he's fucking uh, fooling anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. uh, Thompson is fucking a Christ. fucking prick. God, I hate this asshole. Yeah. <laughs> like this guy, this guy's a fucking soundboard at this point. If you watch any recent debate with him, he's literally just a soundboard. He just goes, No evidence of gas pressure without a container, no evidence of a geometric horizon. God made the firmament as a map for the stars. He, he just rattles off bullshit that he believes. He doesn't think about anything. He's not even a person. He's a fucking caricature of a human being. Press the go. Oh. Really? They yeah. hate it that much. Yes. Oh brilliant. <laughs> So, yeah, that video didn't actually last that long. That was gonged out straight away. Our audience really doesn't like Natalie. Okay, yep. so we're all uh, loaded up and, oh, God, ready to go. Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Trey Dior. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, smash that like button, turn on notifications, all that good shit. This guy is literally the master of audio. He knows how to make sure he gets his point across. Let me tell you. Look at that look. Look at that look. Oh, man. It looks like he just dropped his ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but I just had to point out how horrible this guy. Like, seriously, when, when you do it and then you listen back, you go, oh, well, why wouldn't you take steps to fix it? Why do you just leave it and go, oh? <laughs> because they uh -uh. just chat shit into a fucking camera and upload it. Yeah, let them babble, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah. Chew Davis. Y'all make sure you go subscribe to his channel. I'm going to put his link in the description. Please go subscribe to his channel, man. Great video, great content, man. Y'all go watch this video, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chew true day was up with another video um currently it is 11 54 in the morning y'all see this right good old moon all right so how is how is the moon there and we clearly see the sun right here how is that on a globe model this sun and the moon in the sky at the same time. Scale. <laughs> Fucking scale, people.
Yeah, you know, you know I, I I got a little six inch globe and a freaking laser level, and all I did was set it up at the right distance, and you could see how far around you should be able to see the moon and the sun, and that's it. All you have to do is test it out. This is another argument from incredulity. Hey, I see them both. I shouldn't be able to. Earth is flat. Come on. It never occurs to him or any of them to even ask themselves why. What they've done is they've drawn a conclusion without ever thinking about it, without ever asking, without ever even trying to figure out if it's even possible. Now, it, let's think about this for a second. If you're going to make a claim that this can't happen on a globe, then wouldn't you really want to see if that's actually possible first? Well, should we let them babble a bit more then? Yeah. Babble, babble. <clears throat> But on, on, on a globe model, this is not this is not supposed to be. It's not supposed to happen. All right, come on now. That proves the Earth is flat right there. Common sense. Well, <laughs> was that the whole fucking video? It looked like it. <laughs> I hate this guy. Go on. <laughs> Can, can I ask the question that what was he trying to point out? Because as far as I can see, looking at what he had, he had a bit of the moon lit up, which based on where the shadows were on the building seemed to be the right side was lit up where the sun probably was. So how does that work? <laughs> it's like it was totally consistent. I bet he <laughs> thinks the moon's shadow is caused by the Earth. Oh. <laughs> like the shadows on the moon. Or he believes the moon is self-illuminating, one of the two. I'm a little surprised. When he showed the moon during the day, I expected, how come I can see through it? Honestly, honestly God, he's like, oh, there's the moon in the sky. This can't happen on a globe. Um, well, we've known about it for fucking thousands of years. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. I've, got a, I've got a feeling that colonoscopy is going just about right now. We're getting into the back of the neck. We're heading into the brainstem area, and we're going to see if there's anything there. I can, I can, I can feel it. Next time, could you warm your hands up? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, hit that gong, colon. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Good God. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'll see. I'll see if I have to resize this damn thing as well. Oh God! <laughs> Can somebody tell me where the PlayStation Five's at? Everything's sold out. I can't get my hands on, on one of these motherfuckers for damn damn near for nothing. If you got extra copies and you selling the PlayStation Five, hit me up. Message me. Let's work, man. I'm not spending no thousand dollars on no on no on no gaming system. That, so, so you the just go. What the fuck Who? is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Who the fuck has an extra PS5? <laughs> an extra oh. copy. He doesn't I... want an original, he wants a copy. <laughs> I'm up to my. Well, fucking... they're not even out for another four days. I'm up to my uh... neck in the. I'm surrounded by him. I haven't got any copies. Is... Oh my. His... <laughs> a whole wall of them, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Colon. Do you have the original date of when was this video uploaded? Uh, this is actually quite recent. It's about a week ago. <laughs> Even still, th November the 12th is the PS5's official release date for the USA, Canada, yes. Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Mexico, and South Korea. What up, what up? It's your boy, Trey Dior. Back with another video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. All that good things. So since I like to critique my videos and try to break things down, um, which which I hope y'all do, I hope y'all break this down. I'm gonna try to make this very clear for for all y'all globe heads who like to comment and try to you know what I mean dissect everything. Can we have gas pressure without a container? All right, answer that for me. Can we have gas pressure without a container? Let me know. Any evidence that you can have gas pressure without a container? Of course. No. Of here's course. The, here's the necessary antecedent for a good argument. Oh. Uh, no so, Come on. Uh, so he, he's not even going to try and go there he's just going to hand off to another fucking idiot to try to explain it yes who didn't well, explain, explain it who didn't explain even it. worse 
even worse, he just like he just heard a term from somebody and just parroted it back. Like it, he might as well have said, "Can you have fluid dynamics on a globe?" He doesn't know what that means. I, I do feel like the gas pressure without a container. Those it's got to be the worst flurf argument there is because yeah, there is a pressure gradient on Earth. Even if you want to take it as simple as that. Entire weather systems revolve around the fact we've got one different level of pressure near another different level of pressure. Well, there's a different pressure with no barrier between them. No, um, as I haven't picked a video all night, I feel like I'm going to pick one. I just want to do it. Y'all yeah, know sure. the Earth is flat. Wake <laughs> up. Are you really sure about this one? No. Please. Yes. Tell me physics. Why objects move? <laughs> on a ball spinning a thousand miles an hour while it's going 26,000 miles around the sun. Basically the model we accept right now. The sailor thinks that he's traveling around the earth this way, when in effect he's traveling around the earth this way. They began flying it around the world from Abu Dhabi last year with stops in India and China, then across the vast Pacific. Does running around your neighborhood prove... Fuck. What? Fuck. With, with the dude standing on the map, what did they expect? Him to stand on a fucking ball and fall and break his <laughs> neck? The it's, fuck? Yeah, how hard it would well, have been I to think, make that plane go around a ball the way they wanted it to. That's, what that's, I, that's, that's what I love. Is that like I guess his 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 idea here is oh look they're showing you the truth in plain sight, well that's nice but there's you know five hundred thousand other examples of them showing a globe so what are you talking about? And okay. just one of the like points, it, it was uh, clearly just one stylistic choice. Sorry, DKG. And, and Kevin, 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 wasn't that a cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> right. Should we listen to more of the idiot? Why not? Ouch. Uh, do you want to know how much is left? 25 seconds. No, 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 we don't want to know. Let's just play it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Go. That the neighborhood is round. I was an airline pilot for Delta for 26 years. A pilot's primary flight instrument is his artificial horizon, which he has to be maintained level to keep from climbing and descending. From a cockpit, weather permitting, I could see hundreds of miles in all directions. No, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, from thirty six yeah. from thirty six thousand fucking feet, you probably will see a long way. If the, the, first of all, uh, this guy is not a pilot. I call fucking bullshit because if he's going to sit there and claim that the artificial horizon that he would have to maintain that, and so obviously the Earth is flat. No, because if he was a real pilot, he would know that as he's flying along. That plane is getting buffeted by wind and uh, thermals, and he's constantly making adjustments to keep the plane on course and on altitude. You would not even know in all of that noise whether or not you have to raise or dip the nose to keep that horizon in place. You're just trying to make sure that boat, so that stupid plane stays on direction and, and uh, at altitude. That's the well, stupidest well, Mike, argument I've ever heard. Well, Mike, bear in mind, this pilot never said the Earth is flat. He I said, mean, "That's where we he, were going." He, 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 but hang on. But I, this is what I'm saying. I don't think the pilot has anything to do with this. I think this is just deceptive editing. It probably is too. This is the thing that gets me the most. I spent over 20 years in the military as an engineering technician, working on uh, oh, artificial horizons, altimeters. The whole damn lot. I know how these freaking things work, and they try and tell me it doesn't. It drives me fucking insane. It really does. I Back to the video that shows those clouds kind of curving over the horizon there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Viewing cities connected by roads across the flat plain as far as the eye could see. Nothing ever lean. If a pilot is, uh, is flying around the curve of the Earth, then it sh he should be dipping the nose down and every every five minutes he should be dipping the nose down to to stay around the curve yes. That's what happened was that okay. it that's no. it yet again
another he, he short really just clip ended video. The video like that. Fuck my life. Mid, mid fucking oh. sentence. <laughs> well, yeah. well, he probably couldn't figure out how to like clip it and put an ending on it or anything. It just, oh I, I'm done. I, I made my point. Like, I'll just stop you, here. You couldn't just let the clip play to the end of the sentence. <laughs> Uh, any more points on that nut job of a bit of a video? It's really, it's really hard to debunk stuff when there's nothing there. It's no. just, look, just yes. What was there, word? Yeah, uh, oh, go on, sorry, Mike. He, he, I don't think he has an idea how to make the point. That's why he keeps throwing everybody else's videos, mirroring them to make his point for him. Except he didn't let them finish their point. Well, that's true too. So I got nothing. I got nothing. Fair enough. I, 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 I'm quite amused because that was the all know. You all know the Earth is flat. Wake up! I would have thought that would have been pilots admits to flat Earth or something because he's at least talking to a pilot then, and he could have twisted it. But yeah, at least that would have been clickbait, you know? Yeah, yeah. But he'd already used that title in a previous video, so he didn't want to do the same <laughs> thing twice. Yeah. Okay. Unless anyone's got anything else, colon, we can press play on pilots admits to flat Earth. Hooray, okay. the truth at last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can have a bit of fun with this one. I just got one question to ask flat or a ball? Flat or a ball? What's that? Well, I never feel as breaking round if we live on a ball, surely we'd have to fly around it. Yeah, it feels uh, like flat or a ball. Flat, not a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, just the blue sky, white clouds. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. Okay, right. thank you. Are you the pilot? Oh, yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to say hi? Uh, three. Okay. Yeah, turn on my head, Hey, I just want to say thanks for the All smooth right. flight. All right. I have, have, have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at? To three degrees. Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth? Oh, for the Earth? Because yeah, no, we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah. But yeah. Do you have to keep like kind of going down because? No, we actually have to nose up. It flies. Yeah. Really. Because I was reading some stuff on the flat earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one? This one? Sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. It's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright, cool. All right. Hey, God bless, brother. Alright. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I can see your hand. Hey, oh, uh, I, I realized I could only put my hand up once. I was trying yes. to go uh, lots of times. Um, now, let's put... Uh, if, if planes had to dip their nose down wouldn't that be programmed in to the automatic pilot <laughs> the pilots wouldn't have to dip the nose down because i'm not i'm not saying they are doing that because they're not doing that because we know how planes fly but is it inconceivable that if you had an airplane and it needed to dip its nose down at a certain angle a, as it at continues a consistent to, rate at a consistent rate do you not think that could be programmed in? It's even worse. I'm sure I, we, we, someone's worked out the angle that it actually needs to be if it would work the way flat earth oh, think. It's and fuck it's, all. It's not even one degree. It's fuck all. It not, it's not even a point of a degree. It's, it's fuck all. But just mm. this is like, it's... Oh, oh you, it, it, you could tell that this guy, especially the last guy was flecking with him because he was telling him how they fly over the troper spear and he was actually curving his hand. And then when this guy told him about the flat earth, he's like, yeah, all right, let's play with this one now. Yeah, it's flat. But let's get back to it. But I want people to keep note of something. Notice that every time so far, and I'm sure it's going to happen again, the pilot's attitude changes the second he actually says flat earth. Right. He, can, he, can ask, he can ask the weird questions and everything, but the second he says flat earth, the pilot's attitude changes, and that's a sign that they're being trolled. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, colon, press play, and we'll listen to the, we'll listen to the, all of this half, so save your points for the end. Damn. I don't know. Good one. You too. Um, did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No? There's no, no curvature? It's just all flat. 
got a question for you. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, I'm a fellow, uh, Casey Josh, I'm a fellow, just PPL, oh, hello, pilot. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, nice. I've got a couple of serious questions to ask yeah. you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a big time. <laughs> curvature. Curvature? Yeah. Yeah. We don't allow for curvature, do we? Yeah, <laughs> for anything, not for you usually. No, we're. We're round, we're a disc, aren't we? Oh, round and flat. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, look, honestly, quite seriously, yeah. we are, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up, pilots? Is the earth flat or round? Flat. Thanks, I'm with you. What's up? What's up, pilots? Is the earth flat or round? Flat. Thanks. I'm with you. Well, this is evidence of what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. This is evidence that pilots have a sense of humor. Yes, it is. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and boy, do they have a sense of humor. We'll go around the table. We'll go through uh, what everyone thinks of this channel for the night. Um, I'll start with, we'll start with you, Mike, for tonight. What have you thought of uh, whatever this guy's name was? <laughs> Yeah, what was his name again? Anyway, yeah, no, Trey. this guy's Trey, Trey, dumb. Trey Dior. That's yeah. it, Trey Dior. Yeah, just yeah this guy's Dave. dumb as a box of brain damaged rocks. <laughs> he can't even think for himself. He's got to present shit from other people and just blindly parrot stuff. I mean, this guy is the quintessential. I don't know shit, but I'm going to say it anyway. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that was painful. Well, luckily it's basically over now. Uh, DKG, go on. Mike said he's he's, he's dumb in a box of rocks. I don't think it's a, it, I, I don't think it's an entire box. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think there's one solitary pebble in there that's all alone, just rattling around in that box, just desperately trying to come up with something to talk about I've been um, dealing with a, a lot of flat earthers on facebook and of course this, this is a bit of a side side discussion now i've been just dealing with a lot of people on on, on facebook uh, over the years uh, as, as far as flat earth is concerned as well as on my channel and and what's happening now is they're all going really quiet and all you're left with are the idiot meme machine type people who just like mm -hmm. you know, they got nothing to say they also start throwing the memes in and as far as the uh, what the main protagonists you might call them on on youtube they're all shutting off they're closing off the the, the doors of discussion with anybody they're not talking to globers anymore they're blocking them they're hiding them uh, it, uh, same thing with um, Nathan Thompson on his Facebook channel. They're all closing in to not have any discussion. So the cult status is becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, mm -hmm. what we now what that does mean is we are left with the idiots like this guy who just parrot without any clue. Of what they're talking about they don't even have a clue of what they're parroting no idea whatsoever and that's what we're left with uh first of all that uh channel's intro music sucked that's uh that's one thing i'm uh, glad you mentioned that, that all, is terrible <laughs> it's really bad uh but second of all it's uh it's frankly fucking insulting uh to, to watch this guy's videos because of the amount of effort i put into mine and the amount of effort i know everybody else puts into theirs like we do so much research, we do so much preparation. We understand how to present things in a format that's entertaining to people. Meanwhile, we have dickhead recording in his fucking car with the windows down and half of the audio is cars going by. And this guy gets views. What is wrong with people? I'll sum this guy up <laughs> simple and easy so that everybody here can understand. Um, if we were all sitting around in the water rooting for him to be the one to crawl out and start life on land, I would have fucking gills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I bet he's a, uh, well, he'd have to be, wouldn't he, an evolutionary denier as well, wouldn't he? Oh, oh yeah, it was very painful. Like, like the idiot with the... Stop you talking, filming uh, a portrait! <laughs> <laughs> are, are you talking about me or the guy in the videos? Both. 
Uh, yes, the guy in the video. Uh, oh. People are really dumb. And yes, those pilots were trolling him big time. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the whole point of this one tonight was to deep dive into a, the brain of a flurf. To understand where he's getting his information from, why he's trying to think about it in any way, shape, or form. And it's absolutely nonsensical. You just see that he's got no power of conception, no understanding of videography or trying to put a point across in a logical, sensible manner. Rips off so many other YouTubers that, you know, I'm sure that probably one of the reasons why he does short clips is because he is just trying to rip them off and hopefully they're not going to spot him <laughs> so that he can try and get some money out of this you know, if he ever gets big in this in the YouTube industry, which I don't think it's going to happen. No, just wow. just no, guy. Just no, dude. Give it up. Wow. Go home. No, go and smoke a joint, wherever you want to do it, and stop trying to become a YouTube sensation. It's not going to happen. No, we know we're probably not going to get, get up that high because we're just having a bit of fun on a Saturday night. So that's all this was. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> it, sometimes even researching these guys is freaking painful.